Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to get to know a tissue culture microscope. This one is the Olympus CKX41. It's a great scope. It's in a lot of labs. Um, it has phase contrast on it. That's a must for tissue culture work. Um, a lot of these scopes are going to use the 4X, the 10X, the 20X. Some of them go up to 40X for this particular application. On this one, we have your eyepieces. They're in the head. We have the viewing head here. You can have a couple different ones, a trinocular, an ergonomic, or a tilting. This one happens to be a trinocular head. This one also has a right-handed stage drive, um, so it has a good X and Y movement. And the phase slider, this is very important. It has a couple different phase rings in there. It has one for the 4X, has one for the 10, 20, and 40, and it has an open spot for bright field. It's going to go in and have click stops so it makes sure it's pre-aligned and preset to the area you need it to be. Those phase rings in that slider, they match the objectives. Um, in this case, we'll use the 10X for an example. I'll go ahead and screw it off. And this is a C Acromat 10X phase P. So it's a PHP that would line up with the 10X phase ring on this one. It could be PH1, it would line up with PH1 phase ring. It, uh, they're gonna match and that's a must to get proper phase contrast. Another uh, thing with this scope, you're gonna have a filter insert. This one has a daylight blue filter in there. A lot of folks will use a yellow or green filter in tissue culture work. So you can change that out or take the filter out if you want. We also have the lamp house. This is a six volt, 30 watt lamp house. If your bulb ever goes out, this is how you change the bulb. You just remove it, put a new bulb in. We have a lot of videos that'll show you how to change the bulb on a six volt, 30 watt, which this system is uh, lamp house. And if the lamp house goes out, it's a very inex inexpensive part to change. And you can replace that if you need to. Um, another thing with this scope, if you raise the nose piece up, you can remove this slider and underneath here, there's a lens. This lens, I'll turn it around. The coax might be in your way. This lens gets very dusty because of gravity. You can blow that lens off and it'll enhance your image. If you blow it off and clean it, always blow off the lenses with a can of air duster like this or an air puffer, hand puffer before you clean the, the glass so you uh, make sure you don't get it scratched. So that's about everything on this scope. Um, on this particular one, you have an on and off switch right here and your rheostat, which controls your light. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, via our website, our email address, info at mondaymicroscope.com. That's Monday with a U. And we also have these scopes for sale, lamp house for sale, face sliders, objectives, and whole microscope for sale at microscopemarketplace.com. We'll put links in the description or the bio. You can take a look at those. If you got any questions, reach out to myself, Chad, at Monday Scientific. Thanks.